In this video, I want to talk about an initiator tRNA that is specific to prokaryotes, and that is the formulated methionine tRNA. So, methionine is the amino acid coded for by the start codon. So, in prokaryotes, they have their initiator tRNA is a little bit specific. They have a tRNA that's specific for formulated methionine. So, this is their initiator tRNA. So when methionine joins the tRNA that is specific for the formulated methionine, it joins to form this amino acyl tRNA here. Now, that reaction is catalyzed by a methionine tRNA uh, synthetase. Right, that's the amino acyl tRNA synthetase, and it's specific for this reaction. And of course, that requires an ATP going to an AMP and a pyrophosphate, so the equivalent of two high energy phosphate bonds. So then we have this methionine connected to a tRNA that's specific for formulated methionine. But what is formulated methionine? Well, that's what this next step is for. So in this next step, what happens is this enzyme called methionine tRNA formulated methionine formal transferase is involved in attaching a formal group to this methionine. So this this enzyme attaches a formal group, and a formal group is is just this here. This is a formal group. So that's a one carbon and uh, an oxygen and a hydrogen coming from um, coming from a formulated tetrahydrofolate. And then the formal group gets attached, so all that's left that comes out is the tetrahydrofolate, which is involved in one carbon transfers. So what happens is this methionine becomes formulated. So now what we have here is the, the long name is N formal methionine tRNA. Met. Basically, it's the amino acyl tRNA for formal methionine. So you can just write this as F met tRNA for F met. Now, this, now what we have is a formulated methionine attached to a tRNA specific to the formulated methionine. That's exactly what we wanted here. But what's going on here is that this enzyme is specific. Uh, to acting on this particular amino acyl tRNA, a methionine attached to a formal a tRNA that's specific for formulated methionine. If we took a methionine and a tRNA that's specific for methionine, and we use this same enzyme here, so we used methionine tRNA synthetase, and again we used the ATP going to AMP and the pyrophosphate. But what we get here is the methionine attached to tRNA for methionine. Now, this is different because this is not for a formulated methionine, right? This, this up here was for a formulated methionine. Here, we're only just, just for a regular methionine. So, if we bring in a formal, a formal group attached to a THF, and we bring this, this uh, enzyme here, if this enzyme is here, we're actually not going to have a reaction. There will be no reaction. Oops because this enzyme is specific to acting on this tRNA. If this tRNA is not present, it will not work. So I just wanted to go over that idea and talk about how the initiator tRNA in prokaryotes has this formulated methionine. Hope that video was helpful. One last thing, I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at mufuniversity at gmail.com. See the description below for more details. Thank you for watching.